This is a number line with zero right in the middle. On the right side of the zero, we have positive numbers. And on the left side of the zero, we have negative numbers. But what if I want to plot 1 by 2, a rational number on the number line? Let us draw the number line and mark 0. Since 1 by 2 is positive, this is for sure going to lie on the right side of the 0. And what if I want to plot minus 3 by 2? Since this is negative, this will lie on the left side of the 0. But we do not know the exact locations at which these numbers should lie on the number line. Also, what if I want to plot rational numbers like 1 by 10, 5 by 4, minus 2 by 3. How do we do that? Let us look into it. We will start with unit rational numbers. What are unit rational numbers? The rational numbers in which the numerator is 1 are unit rational numbers. For example, 1 by 3, 1 by 10 and so on. Let us pick 1 by 3. 1 by 3 is actually 0 0.3333 and so on. Now this lies between 0 and 1. So 1 by 3 lies between 0 and 1. So we draw a number line and mark 0 and 1. Now the next step is very crucial and it is fixed for all the rational numbers. Look at the denominator and make that many partitions. The denominator here is 3. So, we'll make three partitions between 0 and 1. 1, 2 and 3. These are the three partitions. Now, 0 can be written as 0 by 3 and 1 can be written as 3 by 3. Now, look at the number line. This is 0 by 3. So, this will be 1 by 3 and this will be 2 by 3. Since we wanted to plot 1 by 3, we can highlight it using a full circle. How about if we wanted to plot minus 1 by 3? This is negative, so it will lie on the left side of the 0, which means it is less than 0. So minus 1 by 3 is less than 0 and greater than minus 1. Let us mark minus 1. Again, minus 1 can be written as minus 3 by 3. And the denominator is 3, so we need 3 partitions. 1, 2 and 3. This is 0 by 3 and we are going on the left side. So this will be minus 1 by 3 and minus 2 by 3, minus 3 by 3. So let's highlight minus 1 by 3 like this. Let's move to the next part when we have to represent a rational number in which the numerator is less than the denominator. Let us take 2 by 5 as an example. 2 by 5 is 0 0.4. Keep this in mind that whenever the numerator is less than the denominator, the rational number lies between 0 and 1. So let's draw the number line and mark 0 and 1. Now the denominator is 5, so we need 5 partitions. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now we'll write 0 as 0 by 5 and 1 as 5 by 5. So this is 1 by 5 and this is 2 by 5. Now let's move on to, uh, let's plot minus 2 by 5 on the number line. Minus 2 by 5 will lie between 0 and minus 1. This is negative, right? So it will go on the left side of the 0. Again, minus 1 can be written as minus 5 by 5. Now let's make 5 partitions. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is 0 by 5, minus 1 by 5, and this is minus 2 by 5. Okay, so next is when we want to represent a rational number on number line where numerator is greater than the denominator. Here the approach is slightly different. Let us start with an example 7 by 5. We just saw a number line where this one can be written as 5 by 5. So if I just mark another point here, this will be 6 by 5 and this will be 7 by 5. Convenient, right? But what if I want to plot a very big number like 14 by 5 or 123 by 5? We cannot keep on going like this 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. We need a more efficient way. So what we can do is, we can do a quick division. 
and write it as a mixed fraction. So 14 by 5 can be written as 2, 4 by 5. Now, if I just divided 10 by 5, this will be 2 and 15 by 5 is 3. 14 by 5 lies between 10 by 5 and 15 by 5. Like we just said, 10 by 5 is 2, 15 by 5 is 3 and 14 by 5 is 2, 4 by 5. So 2, 4 by 5 lies between 2 and 3. Now we know the drill. Draw the number line and mark 2 and 3. And make how many partitions? 5. So we make 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 partitions. This is 2. This will be 2, 1 by 5, 2, 2 by 5, 2, 3 by 5 and 2, 4 by 5. So this is our exact point 14 by 5.